damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you could be missing a hand. Lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <laughs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tassis Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting.
I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Fine. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No. Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving now! Whoa! Oh, kill that thing! What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, watch it. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Uh, yeah. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled wildly, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind follows. Not a chance. Yep. You didn't get 
Get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Javier. What do you want, boy? This is this here the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Are 
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I. But my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My 
a friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the now. water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 is the day we begin to live as equal. Equal! Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. It stopped them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ryan. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Just follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold.
gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Yeah. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <clears throat> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart alleys. How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys went off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Uh, they'll be past... Through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. They should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Get out! Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! 
dead. Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid. And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I right, and let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. You better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back.
place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers! You're in trouble now! Watch it, Charles! Uh, we got more of the bastards on this side! Where are they coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone enough. More on the right here! Get the hell off me! Arthur! Don't mind if I keep my boots, did I? Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Uh-oh. Clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand.
all still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quonk. Run quick. Good luck, gents. Stay quiet and move. 